Are you tired of watching boring old press releases? Then you've come to the right place, the right channel, the number one channel for CEO interviews and company overviews. Welcome to Rich TV Live. Subscribe to our channel and make sure to hit the like button on our videos to help with the YouTube algorithm. For more information and in-depth discussions and analysis, join our trading club at richpigsdaily.com. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications to get alerted when our next CEO interview is released so you can discover the next 10 bagger. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It's Chris Miglino, the CEO of Shrax Inc. How are you doing today, Chris? Really good, Rich. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Excited to have you on the show and learn more about your company today. Why don't we get started, Chris, and you can tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Shrax Inc. So I've, uh, I started Shrax um, around uh, 10 years ago. I've always been in the data business, always been focused around building businesses that were in the data arena. So I've started three separate companies in my life, all of which have ended up in, uh, in the public arena. Um, this company inside of Shrax, we're you know, really focused on building a product called Sequire, which is a tool that helps... Uh, public companies understand who their investors are and what they're doing. So I've always been focused around, you know, figuring out ways to take data, uh, reformat it so it's more useful for the end user and how to use it to then market to and, and uh, figure out a better way to uh, create something that the, you know, in our, this case, the public company could market to. Right. So market to their investors and things of the sort. So always really been focused, uh, always been an entrepreneur and really focused around building companies and businesses that are uh, highly focused around leveraging data. We love entrepreneurs. I've been a serial entrepreneur my entire life, my whole adult life, really. And we interview companies every day and we love meeting with entrepreneurs and the entrepreneurial spirit is very, very powerful, especially in North America. That's pretty much been built on entrepreneurialism. Can you tell us a little bit about what your main goals are for Shrax Inc. for the last two quarters of 2021? Yeah, so we're in the business of, of building a platform. It's a SaaS platform that we uh, license to public issuers of stock. So public companies that have come on the show many of times license our product and uh, it enables them to see who their investors are, how many shares they own, what price they bought those shares, uh, more information on those users, their Facebook account, their LinkedIn account, their Twitter account, their phone number, their email address, and it provides them tools to uh, then communicate with them, SMS them, to email them, and you can predefine tools to say, okay, if certain criteria are met, uh, we want to email these people. So our goal really is to is to get to uh, you know as close to 300 companies on the platform as possible this year. Uh, the last report we had, we were around 200 companies oh. on the platform. Um, so now we're just seeing some accelerated growth. We've had we upped our guidance for you know for the year uh, twice so far this year. Now we're between 25 and 27 million dollars uh, for this year. Um, mm -hmm. We think that uh, we'll continue to, you know, see growth in that. Um, so we we're going to be reporting our second quarter earnings uh, here pretty soon. But you know, obviously in the uh, sometime in the in the beginning of August, and uh, I think that you know this. Well, I think we'll have some good numbers there, and I think that we'll have some uh, good projections as far as what we're going to be building into the second half of the year. So we have, this is our most exciting build year. We've built more cool stuff this year than ever in the history of the company. Cause it, you know, we've been working on a lot of it for a long time and a lot of the teams are coming together now and we're releasing a lot of stuff. And so it's, uh, we're really excited about seeing a lot of releases of new product enhancements into the second part of, uh, of 21. 
So that's really our goal is, you know, more customers on the platform, happy customers on the platform and, uh, and more products in the platform, creating more value for the people that are using the platform. Here at Rich TV Live, we love disruptive technologies. We love innovation. And you guys have a team, and I'm sure it's a strong team. And in order for a company to be successful, you need a strong team. Can you give us a little sense of who are the key members of your team and what type of experience they bring to the table? Yeah, so um, we have 145 people in the entire organization, so wow. it's quite quite large. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of developers that are constantly building for us. And um, our goal is just to keep building and building, you know, nonstop. So we're the teams are uh, working small units, but are building small pieces to the entire platform. Um, so we have a, a head of technology. We have, uh, you know, CEO, CTO, CFO. You know, we have lots of team members that are that are contributing to the entire infrastructure of the uh of what we're building, but really everybody's as important as, as uh, you know, the most senior people in the company because they're uh, the programmers that are working every single day to build the tools that we're bringing to market are, uh, you know, just as important as the, the CFO or the COO or, you know, our top sales people because they're really, uh, they're, they're really bringing the, uh, you know, they're bringing the knowledge and expertise to the table to, uh, to make it happen. So, uh, you know, instead of defining each individual person individually and saying like, look, there's our CFO with amazing experience, or here's our COO with amazing experience. I'd say like, you know, the, the entire team is, uh, we have a close knit team and they, they work closely together. They have a good, uh, we have a good culture inside the organization. Um, you know, when, when people don't work out, they quickly move out of the organization. And, but the core team and that's been there with us has been, uh, you know, we have employees that have been with us close to 10 years now. So it's wow. exciting stuff. That's very impressive. Now we touched base a little bit about your Sequire platform. And that is really the, the essence of what Shrax Inc. is all about. Can you talk a little bit about how the Sequire platform works and how AI technology has really allowed your platform to predict human behavior based on traditional methods? Yeah, so um, we have 200 public companies on the platform or more than that, but last report we did, we had 200 public companies and we ingest shareholder data around all 200 companies. And we take that data and we put it through a lot of machine learning to understand who are these people? What do their demographics look like? What are their characteristics look like? And uh, what kind of people are willing to invest in uh, pharma stocks? What kind of people are willing to invest into technology or cannabis or into, you know, you name the sector of industry, who's investing in these different companies, just OTC stocks on their own are companies that, uh, you know, those individuals have a unique profile to them. And there's only a subset of them that can actually do it, right? You can't, not everybody can call their broker and say, hey, buy me XYZ stock in the OTC. The brokers would say, no, I can't even buy that stock. You know, I'm not allowed to do that. And so there's just a subset of those people, but we have a good look of what all those people look like. And we have the ability to then create community around all of those people and provide educational services. So we, we provide uh, tools for, uh, conferences. We own a conference called LD Micro, where we have this last one we had a couple of weeks ago. We had 200 companies present at the conference. They all get a half an hour to present their story, and then we we have around 100,000 investors came and watched that event and watched the the different you know the different stories from all these amazing entrepreneurs that came. So, and then inside of the Sequire platform itself, we help these public companies just understand who it is that is. Who are these investors and using AI to, to help them optimize that data. And uh, we then say, okay, if this person crosses over a threshold of owning this many shares, I want you to send them an email. So if, you know, so you don't miss somebody that bought a million shares, 
right? You want to communicate with that person that bought a million shares or a hundred thousand or whatever the price may be that you're interested in. You can set those thresholds within our system and it'll automatically start the engagement with that individual and say like, Hey, the CEO of the company would really like to have a call with you. You know, we see that you're increasing your position in the company and then start texting them, start emailing them and keep that communication going. And we provide a bunch of other uh, tools that are really important for public companies. We help them manage their warrants, their employee options. We help them manage their um, contact list of, over time, people they meet that want to be investors in the company. We help them manage that. We help them understand who their institutional ownership is, how that's changing over time, who are the people that are making those investments at those institutions, who are registered investment advisors that they should be speaking to and should be reaching out to. That's all integrated into the platform and a bunch of other things that are very technical in nature that are good for public companies. We have a whole virtual platform that allows them to do earnings calls and conference calls and, uh, you know, annual shareholder calls. I, we just had our annual shareholder call before this call on our platform. So we can, uh, you know, we can uh, then track who came, who engaged, and we can watch, are they, you know, coming back and visiting the company? Are they engaging with the company? Are they a shareholder? Are they increasing their position in owning shares in the company? Are they decreasing that? What price are they buying it at? What price are they selling it at? So it's all, it's very valuable data for public companies. Absolutely. This is extremely valuable. I think what you guys are doing is brilliant, actually. Thanks. And we talk to public companies daily. I think we've done about 200 interviews in the last year. So I think a lot of our clients will be very interested in this product and we're going to try to make some introductions. What is the projected growth of this sector and how much of it do you think Shrax Inc. can capture? So there's around 8,000 public companies in the United States out there, right? So we think that uh, our goal is to be at a, a thousand companies within three years. Wow. So we want, we want a thousand companies in three years, 300 companies this year, and we are just highly focused on making that happen. That is our uh, a number one goal. And I think if we hit that uh, thousand company mark, that we are a billion dollar business. Wow, it sounds like you guys are well on your way. If Shrax were to compare itself to its competitors in the sector, where would you say set you guys apart? Um, I think that you know a lot of the people that are in this space now were built a long time ago for institutional ownership of stock. And as you know, that's changed a lot. Your audience is all is retail oriented investors and and the retail or investor has the power just as much as the uh, just as much as the institutional player does if there enough of them are coming to the plate. And so I think our tool really helps uh, identify those people, helps communicate with those people, gives them a voice inside a company, gives them an opportunity to ask questions to management. You know, they're not ignored anymore. It's a, a tool that crosses that chasm while giving them the same tools that are kind of table stakes from the institutional side. We're giving them the uh, this extra retail data as well. And so I think that's one piece that defines us. And also, a lot of our competitors have mature products that have been built a long time ago. We're constantly evolving and adding to our platform. There's, you know, there's not a month that goes by where there's not a release that happens on the platform. That's a, that's a new amazing feature that uh, is of interest wow. to some subset of the, of our audience. And so we're constantly enhancing, improving the, the platform itself. That's really impressive. Now here at Rich TV Live, we really are fundamental traders. We love tight float stocks. Can you explain your share structure and how you plan to engage more retail and institutional investors? Yeah, so our institutional investor ownership this quarter, this is all public data, has tripled. Wow. So we w went from 7 million shares, uh, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, 700,000 shares being owned by institutions to over 2.1 as of the last reporting. There's more than that that's happened because we got it added to the to the Russell now. So Great. there's there'll be more ownership there. Um, but there's uh, there's 23 million shares in the in the float total. If you back out what I own and what some really closely held people own within it, you're really down to around 8 million shares that actually can float that are trading wow. inside the, uh, you know, inside the public float. So Super tight. It, it, 
it's super tight and it moves uh you know when it had when it has buy-in it can move very quickly and Great. so um we i think we've done a good job on maintaining the structure of the of the stock because you know that's our expertise we help clients do that all the time um we're marketing out to uh get information out about the stock constantly and so we're putting it in uh new hands all the time so i think uh, our goal is more more retail investors in the stock, you know, while while enhancing that uh, that institutional ownership, making sure that the retail people understand what we're doing because the data that we're providing is invaluable. And every time we show it to people, like when we, you know we shared it with with yourself, they're like, "Wow, I didn't even know that's available. That's incredible data." You know, I know a bunch of people that would like that, or I I would you know CEOs just see it and they go, "Oh yeah, sign me up for that right away." So it's it's uh, it's a thing that you know, people don't understand exist. And uh, so it's just a matter of getting the story out there and telling them what we're doing. Yeah. In 2021, data is more valuable than ever. It's right. all about data, right? When you have data on your shareholders, you can get their phone numbers, their email addresses. It makes it easy for the company to get in contact with their shareholders. I think what you're doing is brilliant, actually. Thank you. And we've gone through it and we've got a chance to see it. And maybe in the future, we could actually go through it in more detail with our members so they can actually see what exactly you're doing. And I would love to show it to a few companies because I know that there's probably a long list of companies that we work with that we've interviewed that would love your service. And I'm sure in the future, we'll be able to make those introductions. Now, in saying that, if there was one thing that you would want a shareholder that's either a current shareholder or a potential future shareholder to know about Shrax Inc., what would it be? You know, we have a lot of cash on hand and we have a lot of stock on hand. We, you know, we take a lot of stock for services. And so as of our, our last quarter, we had around $23 million in, in stock on hand wow. and um, we had 13 million in cash on hand. So we have plenty of cash, plenty of uh, stock in, in the past. Uh, what plagues a lot of these small cap companies is their need to continue to raise capital to yes. kind of take it to the next level. Yes. I think we're, we're at a point now where, you know, we're looking at what what can we take back, not what what can we issue more of, right? So we're um, we have plenty of cash out there, and I think that's something important for everybody to to realize. We also own an asset. We started a company, we spun it off into its own public company that is worth our piece of that company is worth more than uh, when I say worth, I mean it currently trades at the more than the market cap of our company. Wow. So uh, this That's company, huge. yeah, it's a, it's very, uh, you know, it's a, the company has a billion dollar valuation. Wow. Um, now that company does not have a tight float. That company has, uh, you know, billions of shares outstanding, uh, but we own a, a lot of them and uh, it, it trades and trades like crazy. And um so that's a unique thing that people need to see as well. So if we ever able to monetize our asset there, it could be, you know, we could get at least the value of where Shrax is today out of it. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Yeah, that sounds extremely interesting. What is the best way for shareholders to get in touch with the company if they have any questions? So they can just go to uh, investors at Shrax.com. Uh, that's a great way to, to get in touch. Our uh, IR at Shrax.com. It's a great way as well. You know, our team uh, formulates the information, gets the questions, and they'll get back to you right away. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today. Keep up all the great work. Chris Miglino, the CEO of Shrax Inc. Thank you very much, Rich. I appreciate it. Always a pleasure, Chris. Now, remember, guys, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. Now, in saying that, I do believe that this company is very exciting. I believe that they're undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, and I believe there's incredible upside. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Remember, if you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring you the winners, and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody, and have a nice day. Oh,